Welcome. Hello. Hello. Welcome to. Hello. Welcome to. That's right, the monkey never sleeps. You are, of course, uh, tuned in to an unscheduled Master Monkey presentation. I don't even know what I'm streaming to. Either Twitch or YouTube, I think. So, hello, Twitch or YouTube. Uh, why is this on the screen? You know, if you haven't been paying attention the last couple of days, and that's cool. I know, a monkey's not your life, but that's, it's all mine. So. Uh-oh, he's got pads. They're like real-sized pads, y'all. So, now, why didn't I put them on the same screen? Well, you can't see because they're not on the same screen, but I have measured them both. And, uh, so, that's before you pad bangers, because manufacturers, pad makers, by the way, how can you guys not document this? You give us dimensions, you give us the whole unit, what the heck? Anyways, what we need, pad bangers, we need the dimensions of the pads, all right? And we need the size, and we need to know the height as well. That is important. So that's a note out there for you reviewers, too. Reviewers, if you review this kind of gear, we need that information, all right? On the SP404, and also on the SP202, they are 18 millimeters, and uh, they extend a little under four millimeters above the surface of the unit. As you guys know, and it's almost off screen, it's in a little camera up here. Can I do that? Let's see, how I get, no I can't, how do I do that? There we go, wait. Right. It's over here by Cowboy Mike, quickly, my co-host girl with no name, and Cowboy Mike, uh, if we know, oops, that looks threatening. It's not meant to be, they're lovers. They're shy about it when you talk about it. Anyways, so over there, the 404, usually it's on screen. If you see my top of the show, so you know I'm the only 404 finger gun in the world to use it in this manner. I am the only one like that. I am also the fastest Akai in the world. I would be the fastest machine if I owned a machine, and I would be the fastest Ableton if I owned an Ableton. That's right. So, anyways, it's practice time. That's right, unscheduled practice time the monkey does practice also a screen up here if you've never seen before we got a Casio SK-1 I got to get that back on camera the micro boot and Arturia micro boot is not on deck today neither is the Casio it's all drum practice and pad practice I've had them three days and I'm already the fastest Sakai on earth quite possibly the fastest very soon to be officially acknowledged as the best you don't believe me, pay attention. We might do a little digging, some screen room, getting ready for a, is that a show tonight? No, there's a rebroadcast tonight. Last night's show was great. It's going to be rebroadcast tonight on Twitch, twitch.tv, Master Monkey. I'm on Twitter, Master Monkey. I'm on SoundCloud, Instagram. Instagram's good, 15 second clips. All right, let's make some noise, people, and uh, we're off to the races. So, have a good time. Strap yourselves in. <laughs> it's going to be a bumpy ride. Hello. Welcome to Die Master Monkey. 
Thank you. Hello. Welcome to Die Master. Walking up a- Hello. Walking up- Hello. Welcome to Die Master. Thank you. Make sure that they... I just realized I hadn't, I hadn't pointed out. If you're new, you might not know. Everything here is uh, manual. This is power only. Incidentally, Akai, what the heck? There's like connectors coming out of every angle of this thing. There's nowhere to put your hands or to fit it onto your deck or anything like that. All the, on the top or all on the bottom or somewhere. I mean, but on MP, MPXA. And yes, this is the only thing I could afford, guys. So quit your whining. It's a st temporary stand-in for the 404 boot job destroyed the five pad and the six pads going to and you know why that's why if you don't know why look up zima technical demo i think that's when it actually died was when i was filming that demo 
and it is two months old, so it's still under warranty. That's right, my 404 is two months old. All of the numbers are gone, and two of the pads don't come back. They do trigger, though. So in the meantime, uh, what, what, what I do here is my bottom two rows, the bottom eight pads on the 404, they serve as my drum kit. All, right, all the banks are full of drum kits on the bottom two rows. The top, top ones are sound effects and sometimes weird stuff, whatever. You guys have seen how we do that. And then the 202, he does what a 202 does best, lo-fi. And uh, so uh, we won't have drums when I send this guy out. I can still use the Casio. We still got the Brute. We still got the 202, but no drums. So this was it. This was all I could scratch up. No, I am not going to use a MIDI controller and plug it into my computer. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so this is playing samples. It's a sample player. I wouldn't call it a sampler because it doesn't sample. Some of this is going to end up in my Akai MPX-8 review, so that's information for you guys. More about the pads. They say there's two velocity levels. I think there's three. When I'm playing, you guys check it out. See what you think. I don't know. Maybe the third velocity level is the sound of my fingers hitting the pads themselves. The pads are real comfy. They're a lot softer than the chiclet keys on the lovely 404, which I love, of course, but, uh, and they're obviously, they're huge, they're 30 millimeters, uh, they extend about the same amount, uh, about 4 to 5 millimeters off the surface, they are, um, they're very, they resist a lot, which makes them feel at first uh, like more work to use, but they're velocity sensitive, so, which I, I've never experienced before, so it's a trip for me, um, and it is a primitive velocity sensitivity. I've had velocity sensitivity since before. Um, but um, because, of, because of the way they resist, you pressing on them, I, I think that's good because it makes it easier to use the velocity sensitivity. Um, so there's that. They're huge, which makes it easy to double on, um, even to quad. Check this out. Yes, you could do that. Triples and quads. They're large enough for that. I've I've seen they don't extend as big off the as far off the surface as the uh, MPC, you know, like the MPC pad. They are MPC pads, but they don't seem to stick up as as far. Man, I wish they did. And by the way, pad makers, drum makers, drum machine makers, sample makers, the pads cannot possibly be. be too big, okay? They can't be too big and they can't stick too far enough off the surface, so just keep making them bigger. We want bigger. And I mean, if they had re different response in different places, like the QNEO, which I desperately want. But um, all right, back to the drumming. It's practice time, so that's what we're doing here. We're practicing. Don't critique my performance unless you're here over a beat battle. Then, of course, you may critique away, but you better bring some footage yourself, brother. <laughs> oh, by the way, mutual respect, man, out to all my pad banging, finger drumming brethren. It's just how we play the game, right? There is no official global organization, so I am the fastest, and if I'm wrong, come prove me wrong. And Monk is waiting here for you. When we're done, we'll share a drink, and the loser will give up their gear. <laughs> so. If you want to win a free Akai MPX-8, come take me, brother. Uh, and bring your MPC, because I desperately need some bats over here. <laughs> we are working on a shoestring budget. But we are still pulling our weight back to the practice.
oops, <laughs> Laurie Andrews sitting there. Here's a technical note, okay. There's a trick you guys probably see me do on uh, 404, and I've recommended to noobs that they practice this. All right, you can't see because of the lighting. All right, well, somewhere else I'll show you. So, right. That's a thing you learn to do on drums, too. It's like three, you just, one, two, three, and then that. You need that so that you can end stuff with this all the time. You use it a lot. I'll show you, too. Like, right. Yeah, that's really hard to do on the on the MPC because the pads resist so much. It's like, so check this out. Things it's a really fast motion, so because of the velocity sensitivity, I know you cannot edit the curve. What do you want? It's 99 bucks, guys. So because you cannot edit the curve and because that's a fast maneuver that you're throwing on the end of something usually, it's you gotta like really pound it to get the same effect as it, as you do on this. So I, I can't do like a I can't do that yet. I like gotta really learn to really nail it, like hammer it. You gotta hammer it. I am hitting them. See, I know you can't see when this one triggers. I don't know why sometimes they light up green and sometimes they light up red. I, I don't get it, but. But there are no loops here. There's no retrigger on the MPX8. By the way, retrigger is for buzzies. See what I mean? I mean, if I could edit the velocity sensitivity, and then I could say, hey, on these three, or on this one, on the hat, maybe on the close hat. It's bugging me. That's one of my trademark moves, man. And I usually do it really fast, you know? Anyways, you're gonna find that maneuver hard to do. You guys just got a nail on it, so. Develop like monstrous Hulk fingers and then you will be able to beat the monkey at something he can't do. I can't do that yet, damn it. All right, well, let's practice that or something like it. Did you guys see that? 
I've been looking for like flashy moves I can do for just for show off, you know, because drummers have like the stick throw, they'll throw the throw, throw the stick or whatever. I've tried playing behind my back, stuff like that. One-handed tricks. You guys have seen the one-handed patty, right? Check Instagram for one-handed patty. <laughs> uh, like it, doing tricks with one hand or whatever. I've tried this, hitting one finger with another finger, which you do by accident sometimes, but this could be kind of funny. It's not funny to watch, though. Anyways, what do you think about the karate chop? <laughs> That's, that'll be my special move. I'll do like this. And then I'll do ah, karate chop. <laughs> yeah. If this were more than 99 bucks, I wouldn't be doing that. I probably really shouldn't be doing this. If this thing dies, dudes, we got no drums. We got, you know what we got for drums, right? You guys know it's... Oops. <laughs> This is not going to work. It's getting crowded over here. You know what we got for drums, right? Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got the cat seal for drums if this thing dies. Hey, it's got a fill. What do you want? <laughs> okay, enough of that. The cat seal's for the regular shows. Oh man, this is, it's screwing up my view. Hold on, you guys, I'm gonna fix this camera because this footage is, some of this footage is probably what I'll use to prove I'm um, the fastest when it comes up, but I haven't been able to engage anyone yet. Everybody just runs away. So get back here and bring your drum machine. Because <laughs> uh, I need some gear. I got nothing here. Working on a shoestring. But that's good though. See, what happened is I learned with I learned with a three-string guitar, you get it? And the same thing happened to Robert Johnson. I learned with a three-string guitar, right? And then when they gave me a real guitar, I was like, holy shit. See, so that's the way to do it. Back to the practice, enough talk, monkey. Actually, I'm going to quickly switch to some different kit just so we get some variety. You know, for us drummers, pet finger drummers, we don't really care. Actually, I mean, it's, it's like, yeah, I mean, for a show, you'll pick out a kit or whatever, but this is not even about that, right? This is about drum time. It's about drums. It's about drums and patterns and rhythms. Shit, I've practiced with the volume off. I've practiced with the machine off before. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Did, did you catch that, though? There was... If you hit this fast, it's on single trigger. It's supposed to trigger the whole sample, and then if you hit it again, it doesn't stop. But I think if you go fast enough... I couldn't see it. Did you see? Sometimes it cut out. Anyways, keep an eye open for that.
if any of that was good, probably some of it. And certainly you've already seen that I'm the fastest. Anyway, so let's just practice session here. Yeah, I know you can't dance to any of that. Sample it and slow it down. By the way, all my stuff is, is a free sample it. Uh, I don't care. I really don't care. If you get something useful out of it, man, that's good. Turn it backwards, you know, pitch it up, down, time straight to chop it up, make it your own, man. Um, anyways, I'm going to take a break for a while. Hope you guys enjoyed some of that. I'm probably going to end the stream here. And uh, uh, there's a rebroadcast now, a live show tonight, but check out my videos on YouTube. And I'm on Instagram, too. So uh, have a good one, kids, and uh, stay true, stay low. Monkeys out. Oh, <laughs>